receipt when they want me to produce the receipt. Yeah, it been some anomalies going on in Cali, in the Southwest in, in total. See, that's the response. That's mother talking about the Mexo-American wars. So, you know, they, it was Conjure involved in that. Yep. Uh, she said, Seeker said today that Atlanta is not safe. Well, I don't know if it's safe or not because I'm not into the fear-mongering game. But I'm going to tell you this. Follow the animals. If you see that there's no birds in your area, it's a sky event coming. If all the birds land on the ground, it's a ship in the sky. If you see all of the, uh, like, uh, like deer and shit going to high ground, dogs and shit disappearing from motherfuckers house, get the fuck low. It's coming into that area. That's how you, how you tell. <clears throat> and so, um, also, we had a blizzard. We've been having blizzards and snowstorms in the Midwest. It's fire in Colorado, um, burning down whole communities. It's motherfucking raining fish in Texas. It's motherfucking um, um, freezing blizzard and hailstorms in Egypt and the Sahara Desert that she also mentioned in the Oracle message that... Um, I have already posted about those weather anomalies that she was talking about. Somebody said they in New York, but they just don't know where they to go. Go where your where your roots, follow your roots. Your roots gonna take you back to the safe place. Yep. When them animals get to disappearing, it's catastrophe coming, they gonna know before the humans, because they read the spirit better than humans. Humans got to the place where we disregard the spirit for the words of man, right? So that's why it's written in a Bible. You, these people draw near to me with their mouth, but their hearts are far from me. Teaching this doctrine, the commandments of me, and that's your law. That's your law of your legal fictitious corporation that don't got nothing to do with us. But as long as you feel like you need some, uh, uh, somebody to tell you how to live your life then you need somebody to tell you how to live your life <clears throat> yeah so i mean it's a lot of a lot of messages coming in i'm not i'm not gonna tell nobody to leave i'm gonna tell you to watch the animals the animals don't give a fuck when they tell you it's time to get the fuck out they don't care if you pay attention or not you know well the animals is gonna always tell you before the human know. Yep. So she says she got all kind of animal life around her in Southern California. If the motherfuckers disappear, you disappear too. If you see the direction they going, following that direction, the animals going to keep you safe. You ain't got to rely on the weatherman. You don't have to rely on no oracles. You can follow the animals and be, and you're going to be straight. We follow the animals to migrations out of great to catastrophes because we knew that nature talked to the human through animals and through other elements in nature. So then we watch the animals to know that we need to move, right? So I'm not going to say you need to move because you in this city. That's foolish. The animals going to tell you, right? So I, I can't say that enough. And this is why we got totem animals. Your totem animal going to come to you in a dream and that motherfucker might talk to you telepathically and say, hey, you need to get your ass up right now out the bed. Danger coming. Wake the fuck up. You in a dream. Wake up in the other dream so that you can fix that motherfucker for you don't never get out of this one. Right? So the, the animals know. You know what I'm saying? The animals smarter than the human. Right? They don't do math and they don't motherfucking count money. Right, so they got to be smarter than humans if they ain't counting no money, because they don't need money to survive off the fat of the land. But the humans can't survive off the fat of the land. I don't care what the what the conditions in the community is. I can survive there. You don't determine your total madam. You, you discover what your total enemy animal already is. Yep. Jesse Hill says she caught a, a hawk that came circling three times. I see them foxes always coming over there to check on the righteous decoy. Yep. So, um, 
it's a whole lot of messages coming in that eminence is at play. So you're going to have proof of life for Larry. But remember that I told you that the motherfucker was a fraud and an imposter trying to lead me off the path. The Blue Jay mean justice is coming. Um, the foxes is cunning wisdom. It's the it's the way to get somebody else to do the heavy lifting while you can also benefit by telling them what to lift. So the fox normally works with another animal. Like it's the jackal is a species of fox in Africa work with the honey badger. Over here, the fox work with bears, sometimes with coons, sometimes with polar bears in the Arctic, the Arctic fox. Sometimes they work with birds, right? Where the um, the fox may make a pact with a hawk. He flush out two rabbits. The hawk will catch him one, and then he take one back for his babies. See, the animal's smarter than us. And they, these humans think they so goddamn smart that the animal's dumb. But they know how to work together when it comes to survival. We know how to kill each other when it comes to survival. You tell me who the smart ones is. The Robin is a um <laughs> the Robin is a banker in a family. Um when you see the Robin, like for instance, rocking the treetop all day long, huffing and a puffing and a singing this song. All the little birdies on Jaybird Street, love to hear the Robin go tweet, tweet, tweet. So what they telling you, all of the birdies on Jaybird Street, the Jaybird is the blue jay. And the Robin comes with the Blue Jay to bring the wealth. This is Oshun following the Ogun. But it's in a in a totem format on the bird clans, knowing how. So we had the Crow Clan knock came through. And then like um um the read from the uh Katharina Atkins with her um, divine feminine, divine masculine read. She said every fucking thing I was going through, like when I told, when somebody put the death conjure on me and I started laughing because I'm not suicidal. So to put a spell on me to make me commit suicide and call me the suicide king is the dumbest shit in the world. I'm not even remotely close to suicidal. So the owl is a black girl magic, um, domain. She helps you see in the dream what takes place in the physical world. Ooh. If you scroll down my post, you will see the horse head on the human body in the post. That's your post that you're looking for because that's your receipt. Yep. So the, the three crows is the three dots. And the three dots is the three black dots, which is the three black eyes, which is the third eyes of the three kings. So it's a knock to a knockback off a zigzag, zig, three king flip and walking on the land is free men. Right? Um, spiders mean we putting it all together. This is an indigenous clan called Anasazi, which is one of the oldest known clans on the land from the West Coast. Right. So um, Spider Loke flipped me the key for the Anasazi spider web in order to be able to read the spider web in real time. So that came from a artist named Spider Loke flipping me the G right on the conjure. And then you had uh, um, uh, Tone Loke was the knockback off the blue lies to Spider Loke. Right, so now we got the two lokes, and the loke mean crazy in Latin, right? So it's two crazy clowns, it's crazy horse, which knocks back to ODB off the Wu-Tang Clan on the east back in New York. So you got spider loke knock, alpha tone loke knock off of a chief crazy horse that we call old dirty bastard knock, right? And the old dirty bastard is chief crazy horse. Right. So all it's more chiefs in New York right now than anywhere on the land. Right. They all congregated in the five percent nation, the Nuwabians, and they congregated in the nation of Islam in New York. Then they got what you call local um borough 
um, families or clans or cliques. The local borough cliques like um, Nas was blessed in in the Queens Bridge. And all of those Queens Bridge artists came out of there, got to get the rub from Nas in order to get past the um, the hump in the road and open up their careers. The cockroaches' resilience. The, when you you know, even though we don't like roaches, the the cockroaches the symbol of resilience against all opposition. <clears throat> yeah, so I've been getting a lot of reports about people seeing the mothership. The centipede is a thousand called a thousand legs. A thousand legs is five hundred soldiers. And 500 soldiers is 50 troops. 50 troops got 50 leaders. The 50 leaders of the 50 troops is 50 generals. And the 50 generals is the white hats. Follow the animals. Wherever you at, follow the animals. The elephant is long memory. Remember what Noble Drew Ali said, right? He said the elephant is our friend. That's the first thing he said. And he said that watchdog was no watchdog at all, but that watchdog was an elephant. Cardinals bring messages from the other side. The cricket is the voice that speak in the silence. The deer is the doe, and the doe is the, um, you know how you call your, your mate deer? This is what it comes from. It's association with your feminine counterpart. The bee is the... Bees in the trap is the queens next door, which is the queens that's been concealed in the midst of the reign of the dragon queen. The turtle, the turtle is a uh, long life, longevity, um, patience, and um, ain't no hurry. Well, the squirrels are always on the um, industrious side. So squirrel clans, Coon clan. The coon clans are known for us sending the coons in to infiltrate. That's why you always hear a motherfucker call somebody a coon. They saying they, they infiltrating on our behalf, buck dancing. The cat chasing the mouse. The symbolism of the cat chasing the mouse is a predator is chasing his prey. Um, the black horse brings justice. The sharks brings the revenge or the vengeance of the deep. Um, I'm gonna save it. Um, uh, I had a lot of lizards following me while I was in Florida. They always come out when the lizard is the ability to shed your old skin and move into your new life as you upgrade. It's the same as similar to the, the snake who sheds its skin. This is a symbol of a rebirth. It's the same as the rose. The rose is a symbol of, um, generation, a different era. Witches so they are have very to, wise. They very wise. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like so, they wise. had to learn a different technique to, from the priests to teach them how to balance themselves to the earth, or else, right now, them motherfuckers would be spontaneous combusting all over this bitch. Mm -hmm. and the and whole, that's spark, that's the whole, all of this that sparked the Salem witch trials, right, bro? Not to cut you off, but no, nah, the Salem witch trials, the Salem witch trials was sparked because there was a black woman called the Mammy, and she was teaching the European girls that was over here um, about the conjure and how to tune in to the land. She was giving them ceremonies, Sarah baptizing Bonner. them. With Sarah Bonner. Right. Yep. So she was giving them ceremonies that uh, gave them earth rights from their mitochondria. She was transferring a heredity, and they was trying to kill them all off they didn't get them all, but they was trying to get them all, kill them all off. This was part of the uh, uh, the hunt for Scotta. Mm. That was part of the hunt for Queen Scotta, the redhead princess. You know, the, the Salem witch trials, it started in North America, and I think it was around well, uh, the 1500s. No, the 1800s. Salem witch trials in the 1800s, and then it expanded all the way to North America to, I mean, South, I mean, uh, Europe. But it was like they was motherfuckers that was caught practicing the art of witchcraft was getting burnt on the state. And it's like they was accusing a lot of black people, black women of witchcraft that wasn't even guilty. 
And that's what make it so fucked up. They was accusing a lot of Native American uh, women and African women that was over here of witchcraft. And, and they right. didn't, there wasn't even that was a hunt for, That was a hunt for our priestesses. Mm. They hunted our priestesses down in the witch hunts, and they hunted the chiefs down in, in, in warfare, civil war. They transferred from civil war, they went into what's called domestic warfare. They declared war on us, and we forgot. Definitely. They said Definitely. we would they would never that we would never be able to be part of their system, and we would always be perpetual enemy combatants in their court system, and they continuously issue in war rants, ongoing declarations of war against our, uh, us as a people. Hey, that's a fact. That's a fact. I mean, even when uh, even when the colonizers came over here from foreign lands, you know, they was getting sick. You know, they fresh off the motherfucking boat. That motherfucker took however long, six months, two years, whatever it took to get over here. And they was getting off that motherfucker sick. They was getting healed by the native, the native uh, elders. You feel me? And these Medicine motherfucking man. Europeans, these colonizers was calling them witch doctors. Exactly, but they was calling them witch doctors. Europeans, the colonizers was yeah. calling them witch doctors. And this was who was healing them when they got off the boat. They was damn near dead. They didn't Half they crewed and died off on the trip. So they get off the boat hanging on their last lifeline. They getting healed. Then you got 100 years later, hey, now look, they calling them witch, witches. You remember in school, them teaching about a condition called the rickets that the sailors used to get? Mm. I'll, Definitely. From yeah. being from being deficient in vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, <clears throat> it was the Seminoles who gave them the oranges to cure the rickets. Mm. The Seminoles, like in Florida, in the Florida area, right? Yeah. Okay. This is before they realized that they was being invaded. Mm. So they came over here with friendly faces that looked like us, but they wasn't us. Definitely wasn't. Definitely. And they was hiding behind pale faces that they was having talk for them. And we believe that the pale faces was the ones doing the talking. We Definitely. figured out that the pale face was talking for somebody else in some of the meetings. So we made sure all of the chiefs understood pale face speak with forked tongue. Mm. Definitely. And that's why I don't even like, I ain't gonna even lie, bro. I think we talked about this uh, like previously a while back, though. I don't even really subscribe to nationality. You know, nationality is a made up thing. It was put on our indigenous ancestors. You know, uh, indigenous people didn't have a nationality. And that's a Babylon thing. Babylon, I identify Babylon is the cities that were built after colonization. So, you know, colonizers come to these new lands. At first it was forests, jungles, and woods. In North America, we ain't got jungles, we got forests. So national parks and shit, Yellowstone National Park, that's like the last of the real forest that's been here since the beginning of the time. And everything else is like buildings and shit. So the cities that were built, when they went in in, in the forest and tore down, tore down nature and built their cities up, and then they conquered these indigenous people and then brought them into the slave system. Now they slave nationality on them. The pinnacles of Babylon is the city that we live in. A lot of us stop being Christians and Muslims. All right? And I was just telling my goddesses this. A lot of us stop being Christians and Muslims. And then we we, we, we fall into to nationality. We run into the Hebrews. The Hebrews tell us, you are a Hebrew. This isn't a religion. This is your nationality. You're from the tribe, the tribe of Issachar. You're from the tribe of Benjamin. You feel me? You got the Moors on, the, on your other shoulder. Like, yo, you are more. You feel me? So if I subscribe to being a Hebrew, I have to worship and accept Yahweh as being my creator. Uh, back to the religion monotheism. And if I accept Islam, uh, uh, being a more as my nationality, then I have to accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as, as, the, as the Muslims call him. You feel me? As, my, as, the, as the creator of the boundless universe. So all these nationalities is slowly bringing us back into religion. You feel me? We don't even, a lot of us don't even realize that like it's attached to religion, man. Because if I'm a more a Moorish American, I have circle seven Quran, and and I have to, I so I'm supposed to be going after the ways of the Prophet, which was Noble Ali. You feel me? And he was Muslim or Muslim. You feel me? So 
it's nationality is going to bring us back into religion and religion is a babylon thing our indigenous ancestors <laughs> we talking about when bro was talking about like atlantis we ain't speak english none of that shit. man they didn't have nationalities religions. they had schools of thought they had um they had temples deep because in the emerald tablets bro like the dweller i fuck with the dweller you feel me in the emerald tablets and he ain't really spoke on that much but the dweller is the teacher of Tahuti. This is where Tahuti learned from. He learned a great deal of wisdom from the dweller. And the dweller is the one who sank the, the islands of Atlantis. The dweller is the one who sank the islands of Atlantis because that portal had got opened up from the underworld and evil forces was coming in. So they sunk it and flew to Egypt or Kemet. But the 